the pet pig. Here a pig, there a pig, everywhere a pig pig. Pigs have become sort of like the sweethearts of America. You remember Arnold, Babe, Wilbur. They're, you know, exotic, they're unusual, your neighbors will be impressed. In the 60s, they called pet pigs dwarf swine. During the 80s pig rage, Vietnamese pot-bellied pigs were popular. Pigs moved from living in barns to homes due to the fact that a smaller variety of pigs were brought into Canada and then the United States. But today there is a new generation of pet pigs on the block. They are supposedly smaller and called teacups, micros and minis. When they're born, they're just a couple of pounds, and they can theoretically fit into the size of a teacup. They're not supposed to grow much beyond 35 pounds or so. That pig is probably going to grow up to be a full-grown adult of about 100 pounds. And that's not teacup. And experts fear that owners will forfeit their pigs when they get big, like they did in the 1980s. And so what happens is those pigs are oftentimes relinquished. But if you can get over their size, pet pigs have some endearing qualities. Very smart, very easy to train, and god-awful cute. In fact, I would say that most pigs are in some ways smarter than the average dog. And against popular opinion, they're actually ultra clean. Oh, and sure, they like to roll in mud, but it's not because they're messy. A pig's form of sunscreen is rolling in the mud. They need to wallow down in the hollow. The first things you notice on a pet pig are the big ears and solid hard body. Pigs actually come in a variety of colors. The typical Vietnamese pot belly pig is not pink. It's usually more of a boar color. And that cute wrinkled nose really knows. That's why they're used to sniff out truffles in Italy and France. And interestingly, a pig's tail can come in three varieties. Curly, kinky, and straight. And so if you too would like a pet pig, first check that it's legal to have a swine living at home with you in your state. They are farm animals, and unless you are zoned as a farm, you can't have pigs. Then remember, they'll need a good amount of space that's pig-proofed, ideally indoors and outdoors. And yes, pigs can be house-trained. A litter box should be large enough for them to at least get half their body into and very low-lipped because pigs cannot lift their legs very high. Pet pigs should be spayed and neutered like Oscar and Ziffel. Some local laws require pet pigs to get a host of vaccines when they're young. Be careful to choose a diet that is meant for small pigs because farm hog food packs on the pounds. Sometimes they're so fat that the fat falls over their eyes and they're kind of fat blind, they can't even see. And you must maintain their hooves and teeth. As for being a good pet, they can be, if you understand the big picture and are sincerely committed. You know, pigs are not a simple pet and it should not be an impulse buy. So in general, having a pet pig is a big commitment. First, make sure it's legal, then make sure you have enough space. If you're keeping a piggy inside, make sure you can handle his rooting behavior and high-pitched squealing. Feed your pet pig one cup of pig chow twice a day and throw in some fresh green veggies for treats. Remember to give proper attention to hooves and teeth. Overall, it's a good pet, but be smart and weigh out all the details before the cute little loinkers come in and heavily weigh you down.